everybody for today's video i'm showing you guys this very quick and easy everyday makeup look and this is more for the days that i want to look put together and put some makeup on but i don't really want to go all in and do a full face glam look although it is a full face of makeup typically i'll do this look or i'll wear something even more like no makeup makeup and it's just really quick and easy for me and i can maybe do it in like 10 minutes so that's great and it's really good because you can change the lip colors and the blush and everything and it's just really versatile for an everyday look so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video okay so i already moisturized my face i use the origins ginseng energy boosting moisturizer and this is just really good to for the morning time because it just really helps like refresh your skin and i also applied an eye cream then i went ahead and primed my face with the smashbox photo finish primer oil and then the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer just around my pores. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my IT CC Plus Cream. And this is in the shade Light, I think. Or is it Fair? This is Light. And I'm just going to apply this to my face. And I really like using this on an everyday basis. Since it is good for your skin. And it gives you a really nice coverage without being anything too heavy. I know the color kind of looks off, but once I blend it in, it's alright. And I like using a damp beauty blender for doing this because it just really helps kind of sheer out the coverage as well as really help seep it into my skin. Make sure you take it down onto the neck and into your ear and it gives you a really nice fresh dewy look. Don't mind my cat if you hear any noises he's outside of my door playing with a straw. So that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to go over any areas that I think I need to further cover up. So like right here, any of my problem areas really. And you can definitely go ahead and use the Beauty Blender. I'm just extra. And I'm using another brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in my Beauty Blender and I'm going to dip right in there. And I'm going to conceal under my eyes. And this just gives you such a nice finish. It's full coverage, but I find on my like, no makeup makeup days, which is kind of like today, but not really because I am doing a full face, but like it's natural, you feel? Now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Blotting Powder, and I'm just going to take that with this e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm going to set under my eyes. And I also like to bring this down along my nose, right in the area where my pores are the largest, around my mouth, my chin, and then my forehead. I'm also going to take this and set my eyelids. I'm going to take this NARS Duo, and this is in Madrog. I use this basically every day. So I'm going to take this MAC brush, and this is the 217 brush, and I'm going to go into this neutral um, brown shade, take that under my eye. And this just adds a little bit of definition without going too crazy. I like this color because it's pretty neutral. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. So it looks pretty natural. And then I just go in with a fluffy brush and I just blend that out to make sure it's nice and diffused. doesn't look too harsh. Sometimes I'll just leave it like this or I'll go into my crease and I'll apply the shade. Or I'll just apply it over my whole lid for like a wash of color. And that's what I'm going to do today. You can be really messy with this. Because this is just to get a nice wash of color down. You can even use bronzer for this. I like doing that too. Because it kind of makes the whole face look very cohesive. And it's also one less product you have to use. I'm just extra. And I have a million and five things in my everyday routine. And then I go into the NYX Faux Whites Liner in Mint Cream. And I just apply that on my waterline. And this really helps brighten up the eye and open it up. And I like using this as opposed to a white. I do also like to use nude. But I really like this because it looks very fresh and bright. So I just apply that on my waterline. And now I'm going to go back to the face. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. And this is a really good contour shade for my skin tone. I know they have a light shade now as well, but this is a very nice cool toned, almost gray shade, and it's really great for creating that natural shadow to the face. So I'm taking this on an angled brush. I'm just gonna slightly 
contour my face. Nothing too much, but it's just really nice at adding a shadow and some definition. And I'm also going to take this and go along the sides of my nose. You can go ahead and really full on contour your nose, but I don't really do that. I'm going to go over that with my Edward Bess Ultra Luminous Bronzer in the shade Daydream. My aunt actually just gave this to me. And it's a really, I only used it once, but it's a really, really pretty, smooth, very warm bronzer. I'm just going to go over my contour. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. This is a beautiful kind of pinky nude blush and has a really nice sheen to it. Oops. And I love using this on an everyday basis because it just gives you that perfect blushed look without being too much. But I do typically rotate my blushes like every day. I don't really use the same ones. Just kind of depends on the lip color, what I'm wearing, the vibe for the day. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my face. And the same thing, I kind of change out my highlight every day. But I'm going to be using the ColourPop Luster Dust in the shade Nomi. And it's a loose highlighter. This is a cool toned kind of silvery pink shade. However, they do have Au Revoir, which is kind of a more gold warm shade. I'm just going to apply that. To the typical places, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, and of course the cheekbones. I'm gonna bring that a bit onto the brow bone. And now I just like to go in with my blush brush and kind of make sure that's all blended. Now I'm going to go in with Nomi again and I'm just going to apply that to my inner corners. So I'm just going to take this pencil brush and apply that right on my inner corner. I love doing this, especially when I have very minimal makeup. And now I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara on my upper lashes and then the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black mascara on my lower lashes. And now for lips, I typically like to change that up every day as well, but today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Shoddy, and this is a really nice warm brown, and I actually haven't worn this out yet, so I'm really excited. Oh, actually, sorry. First, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in 1993. Just to line my lips. And now I'm going to go in with that lipstick. That is pigmented. This is definitely a more intense color. I wouldn't really use this on an everyday basis. That's what I like about this look. You can really wear any kind of lip color you want. It's a very pretty color and a very, very creamy Formula. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the MAC Fix Plus Spray and this just really helps to refresh the skin, hydrate the skin, and help your makeup last longer so I love this and it smells amazing. That's it. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that this kind of helped you maybe figure out some different techniques that you can incorporate into your everyday routine to make it a little bit faster and make it a bit more efficient. So. Make sure to subscribe, like my video, and comment down below. And thanks for watching. Bye.